and we often tune in and see the fascinating story of the gangster, yeah, and the hard man, and how they get tamed. They get tamed sometimes, long prison sentences. They tame others with violence. But today, yes, the gentleman to my right was a former prison chaplain, and he's going to tell some wonderful stories of some of Britain's hardest, toughest men doing some redemption. Yes, wonderful, wonderful stories. We're also going to touch on his friendship with legendary boxing trainer Brendan Ingle and the two books he has written. I was with some mates and we were in a car driving out from Wakefield towards Doncaster in the winding roads and my friend who was driving was driving too fast. The car came round the corner, got into a kind of wobble yeah. and turned over and smashed into the car coming the opposite direction. So I was the one that was most injured. I've got a fractured skull. Um, I came back 25 years later to be the prison chaplain in Doncaster. Yeah. And one day I was walking along the corridor and this guy noticed my, my uh, name badge and he said, Oh, Ian Jennings. He said, you're not the Ian Jennings that used to be the assistant minister of that big church on the corner, on the roundabout. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I am. Yeah. He said, put it there, he said, your preaching changed my life. Oh really? <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, there and it filled up more quickly than any other prison in the history of the prison service. Really? Which was dire because it meant that um, the prison was being run essentially by the prisoners. Right. <laughs> it was a frightening place to be. To. Was it? Yeah, it really was. Oh, and I remember right. going into the segregation unit one day and there was a guy there standing reading a newspaper. There was no bed, there was no chair in his cell. Yeah. I said, what are you doing? You've got no bed, you've got no chair. Hey, I'll get you a chair. No, no, no. He said, I don't want a chair. I don't want anything these people can give me. He said, I've slept on a bed for 18 years. I'm not going to start now. I slept on the floor. Really? He, he was hard. He yeah. was so determined not to cooperate with the system. Oh, 15 people in the room. One of them says, we could take him hostage. We could do that. That would make them sit up and take him. Oh dear. If we take him hostage. <laughs> That's so scary. I'm thinking, where is the emergency button? It was right on the other side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> the room. <laughs> so.